constitutional right to meet with Congress. The representative, the legal representative of the U.S. Capitol informed me we should go and talk to our Congress people. I informed him we've all done that many times. When we send our children off to war, it's always the same old story. The merchants of arms, the war profiteers, tell them they'll be covered in glory. We came together about six months ago when Congress was debating whether or not to set a deadline for troop withdrawals, and we said, it's time to set a deadline. It's time to take the next steps. We can't go with unending war. I no longer believe my, the president. I have tremendous respect for the office, but I no longer believe the president when he speaks to me. This, in this country, this is for shame. Our government is made up of the people. When we speak, we should be heard. We put you in there to speak for us. But we are here today to take this coffin that represents the dead, to take it to Congress because they are responsible for right. many of the death, dying, wounded on this coffin. Right. They said we cannot do that. The Iraqis are standing united to ask for an end for this illegal war. Yesterday, this institution, the House, voted 70 more billion dollars for the war. Here's the deal. I think the best in the Republican Party and the best in the Democratic Party made this country great. But right now, we're playing to the lowest common denominator. Republicans are as much warmongers as Democrats. And, and I think that uh, whoever's in office is not going to change things. I think the people will change things. We have a right to try to exercise our First Amendment right. So, Absolutely. so I am suggesting that if you are moved by conscience to go forward, let us try that. We need to stand behind our troops. And one thing about it, if we feel that something ain't right, we need to speak out on it. I just want to make a little plug here for the many veterans and current active duty and military families who are very much opposed to this war, want the troops home now. The only way to support them is to bring them home now. He sees war a little differently now. He knows how killing feels. Maybe he's crippled or maybe he's blind. Or like one out of three, he's lost his mind. We've got to end this war. We've got to end it sooner than later. Right. People right. in the world now. are depending the war on now. us. Bring the end the war now. now. End the war now. Police are rarely ever going to tell us their opinions when they're wearing a uniform. But there's little doubt in my mind that many of them are moved by our actions, and many of them, while not saying it, support us. We're all connected to each other, and killing is just plain wrong. No matter what bloodthirsty message there is in a war lover's song. We as the people of this world are gonna to come together and we're gonna to and it stopped this bloody war. Yeah. Unite we stand, and divided we're gonna fall.